MetaMats.com, guys. Paid by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, enter in the code Yu-Gi-Jesus on MetaMats.com and you get 10% off your order. Likewise, you can enter in that same code Yu-Gi-Jesus on LDBDuel.com and get $5 off the best deck boxes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I am very biased. I mean, I just, I just get all these sweet, just awesome freebies and just and everything. I mean, how can I not be biased? Plus, I mean, they really are the best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I am Yu-Gi-Jesus after all. <sighs> Today is Confession Day, where I read off your worst and most egregious Yu-Gi-Oh sins and react to them. I actually stay out of the Confessions channel on my Discord server so you guys can get my genuine reaction. And um, yeah, let's just get right into it right now. I'm gonna launch Discord. Go to my Confessions channel and scroll up and find where I left off and we'll just go for it. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. Konami has predetermined a waifu for me and I don't want one. That's a hell of a way to start this off. <laughs> I want my big gun dragon instead. <laughs> There's so much wrong with this already. <laughs> Now that I think about it, Konami somehow handpicked the most personalized waifu possible, and now I'm scared. Just, don't be weird. I don't know what to tell you. Can I even, can I even like, forgive that one? Like, it's just, what? I don't know what to do here. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sent my way into oblivion. When me and my friend play Yu-Gi-Oh, I use my deck that uses, there can only be one. Oh yeah, there can be only one. I think he spelled it. Which one of us is saying it wrong? <laughs> I can never remember, man. And he has PTSD from it, using stuff like Kimmy Critter, Scrap, Fur Hype. What, what are you playing? Why? And now soon S Force just gets him to scream, and it's too funny every time. You're forgiven for using floodgates on your scrub friend, I guess. While you're playing scrub crap. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Smug ass, I think he's trying to say smug face. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus. I used to make fun of anyone for playing Dark Magician, including my friend Jimmy. J -j 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 Jimmy. <laughs> because I find anyone who plays the Dark Magician era archetype to be an anime weave. Well, I mean, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> for real, like that and, uh, and uh, blue eyes and Exodia and stuff, right? Uh, all the usual suspects, you know, red eyes, whatever else. I almost punched a smug-ass Dark Magician player who had a Starlight Dragoon and 25th Anniversary Dark Magician and Mystic Mind. Oh, no, you didn't. Stop being edgy. No, you did not. <laughs> now, with the Signer Dragon support, I have made Synchron Signer Dragon deck with the sole purpose of Synchro Summoning Shooting Quasar Dragon. Classic, classic. Makes me miss Galactic God every time I think of that card actually using the exact five dragons that you say used in his uh, his duel against z1 only i use scarlet red dragon archfiend good card because it is better than regular rda Reg it, it is it's a way better card and his effect is key it's, yeah it's great every time i summon shooting quasar dragon i make it sound like an epic fanfare <laughs> as i do my anime moments sometimes i even play the clip in the back <laughs> A dual disc too. <laughs> oh, today's a good one. Oh wow. To make matters worse, I play Ghost Rare Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Do I still have my Ghost Rare? I had a ghost. I actually pulled one. Those those really cool. Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon. I do not have that. That's cool. Ulti Live Stream Dragon. I do not have that. And Ulti Black Ulti Black Wing Dragon. I don't think I have that either. Those are cool cards. Q quarter of century rare Stardust Dragon, quarter century rare Black Rose Dragon. I do have those cards. I also played Defleur and Collector's Rare Excel Synchron Stardust Dragon as a backup vision, and I pulled that Collector's Rare Excel Synchron Stardust from Loose Packs. Well, nicely done. You're, you're forgiven for typing up such a long thing for me to read, and you're forgiven for being such an anime weeb after making fun of people who are anime weebs. I think you're calling the kettle black, buddy. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. Past locals, I play against and uh, your Sark, your Sarctic, your Sarctic. Yeah, who who names these decks? By the way, your Sarctic invoked player match. It was uh, match one. It was his first locals, and I was playing tier limits. He couldn't break my board turn one, and I OTK'd him. To, uh, causing a swift 2-0 in my favor. I wanted to go easier on him than I actually did, but th they gotta learn, boy. They gotta learn. It's fine. It's, it's fine to wreck people. Just don't be a dick about it. Like, you know, just it, it's fine. You know, tell them what they did wrong and stuff. Tell them how they can improve. But I hadn't had dinner yet and wanted to grab some food before the next round. Apparently, don't fuck around when I'm hungry. <laughs> 
Well, you're forgiven for being hangry, I guess. Also, forgive, uh, forgive me for another sin. That same locals, I was up against a great Drytron player. Turn zero, I decided to gamble on and summon Tier Limits Kashtira uh, by banishing a Reinhardt and, uh, from hand and milling three. And that mill three was a tier name and one of my like, two Shadals in my deck, so I summoned Winda. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Winda wins games, dude. Winda win, duh, right? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, Winda's still such a bitch. Like, she's such a great card. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I love watching the episode where Zane becomes an edge lord in the English. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Dog's high-pitched voice and man-child personality makes it a laugh-out-loud moment for me. To add insult to injury, he's voiced by Sean Shamil. I did not know that. So, uh, Goku? Really? That's crazy. Forget me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I am coping harder than OCG tier plays. What tech is this? It... <laughs> it's Charmer, <laughs> and he's maxing out on the goth girlfriend package. <laughs> you are coping. Oh my gosh, and there's Dogmatica stuff in here. Secret Village, Village of the Spellcasters, which Secret Village is a card I forget about, but, and then when I when I see it again, I'm like, oh yeah, that card's really fucking good. <laughs> it's one of those. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, we, we all cope. I'm constantly coping with Cyber Dragons, right? Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I was recently at my locals playing a Z-Arc Pendulum Magician deck. My first opponent was a kid playing a Crystal Beast Structure deck straight out of the box. Ooh, it was his first locals, and I ended up beating him 2-0. Of course you did, summoning Z-Arc and OTKing him. I felt bad because he was so new to the game, so I ended up giving the kid some spare Crystal Beast support cards I had so he could buff his deck a little. There's no sin here. Leave me some real sins. That was really nice of you, though. Seriously, like, th th there's no problem with absolutely destroying somebody in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's no problem with it, as long as you're not a dick about it. And uh, something that, like, tryhards and, like, Yu-Gi-Oh players have a problem with is they treat it like, they treat Yu-Gi-Oh like it's so important. And they have, like, this uppity attitude or, or whatever, like, this elitist attitude. And I'm like, yes, because you're so hyper-intelligent for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You're solving all the world's problems. You work in a government bunker. You are hyper-intelligent, boy. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you know? Like, I, 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 uh, I am very facetious with Yu-Gi-Oh! players very often because I have to be there. Kind of slow. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi. Dick slap the like button. Dick slap the like button. <laughs> I play Salaman Great without Salaman Great of Fire. I was broken poor. <laughs> that sucks. So I never picked up the card. I did top locals twice with that deck because I use a combination of Baguska. Baguska is a yeah great stall card. Yeah, and then proceed to make access Code Talker and Firewall Dragon turn two. If I don't OTK my opponent, I a well timed uh, bounce from Firewall is usually usually all I. Need Need to win. Firewall just is, is a great card, even with the errata, right? It's, it's great, great. In a game where my opponent was playing the new Jack Atlas cards, which I actually like. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I saw, I mean, 4,000 attack monsters, big monsters. I mean, the effects on these synchro monsters are actually fucking insane, too. It's not a bad deck at all. I stalled with Baguska, and when he imperned Baguska, I simply used Swords of Concealing Light to turn off his names, and I was going into OTK mode. He scoops and rages off. My best friend who came to see me duel just sat there with a smug look on his face. Yeah, uh, so, some people, like uh, like I was just saying, the tryhards, like, like I don't know, there's, there's tryhards that really think that Yu-Gi-Oh is important, and they, uh, I don't know, participate in market manipulation buyouts, and just, I don't know, just, they take, uh, they, they take the game way too seriously, okay? Like, they make Yu-Gi-Oh their life, and then there's the tryhards that just, like, don't really know any better yet, they really want to like the game, and they have other things going on in their life, like, when they're mad at you for losing, they might be mad because they just spent a lot of money on a deck and they're not very good with it, and that's one thing. But a lot of the time when people get mad about Yu-Gi-Oh, they're actually mad about other things in their life. And that's just uh, how basic psychology and stuff works. But uh, yeah, you're uh, forgiven for wrecking some guy who doesn't know how to keep his temper, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, Yu-Gi no no, forgive this for it wasn't my fault. You see, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh in my chemistry lecture <laughs> one day, <laughs> specifically on Nexus to brag about being top 5% in the world on Dueling Nexus, very nice. And I used Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, and managed to get two out on the field with a double banished from Jade. Jade was completely useless though since my opponent had Mystic Mind in the field. What, how did they have Mystic Mind? This must have been a while ago before Mystic Mind was banned. As soon as I summoned Masquerade, my opponent started to complain that he couldn't win because of Masquerade being on the field, so I told him he was the one preventing the wins with Mystic Mind. You're right, right, right. Yeah, like, you're the problem when he's playing, like, the, the most broken Floodgate, probably, in the history of Floodgates. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. <laughs> 
I then proceeded to tell him, if you can't do anything this turn, well, you might as well surrender. I'm going to kill you next turn, which caused my opponent to start threatening me by calling the police for using death threats. <laughs> Were you dueling a 12-year-old? <laughs> to make this long story short, either he didn't call the police, the police found this way too ridiculous because I haven't gotten a phone call since this was less than a year ago. <laughs> Respond to this, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna. I, I, I'm too incredulous right now. We're going to the next one. <laughs> Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned and continue to do so. But Wolf, you know you should stop. Damn it, Nanashi. I dropped every ounce of my hatred for this game, specifically certain people that play it, into a deck that is designed to skip turns in the most obnoxious way imaginable. Imagine if Thunder King Ryo was given a family of monsters that does exact does what he does except to multiple aspects of the game. No spells during main phase one, no setting traps, no special summoning without attacking first. Tribute to negate card effects, that kind of thing. Now imagine them being armed with bamboo swords to knock out entire phases of the game, as well as other texts that do the same. That is the deck I created. A literal lightning rod of hatred. This goes against everything you say about having fun with the game, but I actively use it against players I do not like and or <laughs> who ruin the game for others. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. Yes, yes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes, perhaps, perhaps. While I was in my sophomore year of high school, my brother and I had illegal copies of EDO Pro. We downloaded... There's not illegal copies of EDO Pro. It's just... What? 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 <laughs> I downloaded it onto everyone's computers to have something to do during class because... Oh! Oh, oh, so you just, like, illegally did that? You were supposed to do that? And you put it on, on people's computers? That's some crap I did in high school, dude. There's nothing. <laughs> Whatever. I did all kinds of. I did all kinds of hacker man crap in high school. But anyways, every copy we sent to people had our decks, so people were learning to play Yu-Gi-Oh with Metal Foe, Yang Zing, Totally Heroes, Fluffles, PK Fire, a shitty pure Atlantean Zero deck, and Side Frames. During this time, we had some mutual friends who wanted to engage in tag team duels. So one of them, who was more into Yu-Gi-Oh, was playing with us and had made a Red Dragon Archfiend deck. My brother was playing Gradles. One person was playing Fluffles, and I was playing Side Frames. The duel went on for four classes plus lunch. <laughs> There's no sitting there like if here's the thing if you're able to like do that and get away with it I mean that, that means the school is wasting your time That's I mean that's that's how I treated high school is like I just went and I, mean, I had good grades and everything I just didn't freaking care it's too easy like I just treated it like they were wasting my time <laughs> like, shit. I feel I need to apologize for this multiple times as I am probably the only outlier so forgive me again for I am going through the stages of grief <laughs> As I am, what? As I am having a hard time accepting that Co Money has already decided that IP Masquerina is going to be my personalized wife. Is this the same guy from early? <laughs> this is probably something worthy to apologize for multiple times, right? It definitely feels like I'm breaking a law of Yu-Gi-Oh, but am I? My other sin is probably doing the raw chant in a large school theater and shaking the entire room. <laughs> yeah, if you do the raw chant, yeah, I mean. Just don't do the raw chant in California and fall off in the ocean, right? <laughs> if it was the sheer power of my vocal cords or the power of raw, it's currently unknown, but that school might be in danger. <laughs> I have, yeah, just, just don't do it in California. <laughs> I have sinned and I don't care. Oh, you hard ass, you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> At locals, back in the day, I would make trades to kids who didn't know or care what meta cards was and only wanted anime cards in return, so I made trade knowing if they keep it, some collector would cry about 60 cards. Just... Don't rip off kids and trades, even if it is the right thing to do because they'll ruin the cards. It's not right. Don't do it. Go do Hail Yugi Jesuses or Hail Mary. What, what, what are we doing again? Hail Marys? I, I don't fucking know. Here, go do some Hail Marie the Fallen Ones, whatever, whatever we. Have we even decided on what people should do for their penance? I, I, what? It's 2020 again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Forgive me because I sinned today. I opened one for one Chaos Space, Saren, Saren, who names these? Seyfert and some other Dark Dragon. And my opponent scoot pretty much as soon as they realized I had the hand of all time. And they opened a no hand traps. I feel bad for them. It was a very cracked hand. Well, like, that's, it, it just happens if they don't, don't open Nash, Nibiru, uh, uh, Shifter, uh, you know, the, the usual suspects, yeah, yeah it, it happens. I mean, everybody plays hand traps and you should expect hand traps, but it does not mean that they're going to open with them. So by all means, try to play and, you know, do the best board you can, right? Um, 
And if they don't got the stops, they don't got the stops. That, that's, it just happens. Never feel sorry for being blessed by our Lord's obelisk rod slifer. That was a win you earned for your dedication to the Church of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, for I have sinned. An old buddy of mine got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And to welcome him back, I violated him. With the 16 with the 16k attack Numeron Dragon. It was complete overkill, especially since he only had a grappa on field. OG, not the fusion. Rip. Rip. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for this is a Halloween sin more than a Yu-Gi-Oh sin. Oh, you're posting this on Halloween. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little late on this one. I'm a little I'm like catching up on all the sins. Leave me more sins, by the way, and there'll be uh, more confessions videos more often. Anyways, I've never trick-or-treated or done anything for Halloween ever, not even as a little kid. That's just sad. Although I didn't really have good Halloweens growing up either. Like, uh, I didn't have a good Halloween until uh, my woman and I started having good Halloweens a couple years ago. Forgive me, Yuki Jesus, for I have sinned. I ate a Texas Longhorn before locals. And I cringe now thinking about the last thing I posted in this channel. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go looking for it, please. I already deleted it. Don't look for it. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what? <laughs> now I gotta go back and watch my videos. <laughs> don't kill the cringe. Kill that side of you that cringes or send it to the shadow realm. Neither works. <laughs> Hashtag do not research. <laughs> what am I even reading right now? I'm I'm a glitch 2020 again. I'm not sure if this is a sin, but I got I get incredibly defensive if someone starts hating on Danger Dark World. Don't ask why. I just have a very strong emotional attachment. It's a cool deck. I, 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 I don't hate Dark World. It's fine. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I have been enticed by the dark promise of the Labyrinth deck and fell for the wiles of the white boots within the archetype Silver Castle. Nah, not really. I only picked it up just to do a little trolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good deck. It's it's a really strong deck. Yeah, it is, it is a waifu deck or whatever. But yeah, it, it is just like genuinely a good deck. Like I've made uh, points about in you know skits and videos. It is the trap deck of the format over a deck literally named Trap Tricks. It's kind of uh, ironic, you know. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I got second place at locals with purely, and I still don't know what the deck does. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, it, 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 it attracts furries. That, that's what purely does, just kidding. <laughs> don't worry, all you gotta do is improvise, adapt, and overcome. If you don't know what the heck any cards on the table do, usually it gets me pretty far. <laughs> All right, the last one, guys, the last one. And leave, leave me more sins, guys, leave me more sins. And uh, yeah, we'll do these, you know, more often. I, I, I do them every so often anyways, you know me, but you know, you also know what I'm saying. It could be more often. Last one, though, and see, I hope it's a good one. I haven't read it. I have made a valuable sign that I don't think anyone would want to come back to. I am thinking about making a Testina deck based around Sartorius and the Society of Light. No, Sartori, yeah, yeah, it's Society of Light from GX, where the only extra deck monster is Egyptian God Slime. So, so you want to be an anime weave, but for GX instead of the original? <laughs> You're forgiven, dude. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the video. That's all the sins that are... Yeah, that, I'm current on all the sins. Like I've said a couple times now, leave me more Yu-Gi-Oh! sins, guys. The link to my Discord server is down in the description. Go to my confessions channel and leave them all there. I don't go to my confessions channel until I make these videos. And then you get me laughing at you. I, I mean... It's in good fun, though, but technically I'm just laughing at everybody. D does that mean that I'm sitting? Subscribe!